So here we are arriving at a house probably 150 years old and it has sliding sash windows that probably for me they're in too good condition to be the, the original ones and I rather suspect they're replacement double glazed windows and they look really good. It's very difficult to be allowed to do double glazing in a conservation area which this probably is. So we're hoping those windows are double glazed and draft strip so we haven't got much work to do on them. We can see there's a couple of air bricks up on the front wall of the house. On the first floor they are open, on the second floor, first floor ceiling, they're closed up. And so we're recommending already to the customer that he seals those air bricks up because they're ventilating the floor void. And the last thing you want in a house is cold air going in above your lounge ceiling and below your bedroom floor. So we're going to have a look at the front door and see what that's like. It looks like a very large front door. There we go, so we see there's a letterbox. It's a good looking letterbox with a nice tight flap. And we've got this doorbell here, which is potentially drafty. It goes through the wall. We're coming in, having a look, and we'll see what we've got on the front door. We've got some atomic strip. These are quite old brass strips, which they, if you run a, a roller down there, they bend further outwards. And this one, you can see it's touching some places, but not everywhere. Up the top here we can see quite a lot of black where there's drafts coming in and so we're worrying about a few drafts around the front door and we think that underneath the front door there's probably going to be daylight and so we close that door up and we have a look down right underneath and we can indeed see yeah and so we're probably going to put a draft strip across there a brush strip or we may use a slightly different strip which will be a one that normally will go round the door to go across the bottom. The letter plate flap is a little bit substandard because it's just a flap, a secondary flap. It has no brushes on it at all. And we're going to recommend a brush flap on that front door. I think we can see the front door. Sometimes when you get a door, the door will move slightly as you open and as it when it's closed, it will still move. This one doesn't, which is good. And so we've got very little work to do on that door. So in the old days, we used to have sliding sash windows and they had shutters on them. And these are very nice shutters, They're actually replacement shutters, because we were told the original ones were burned for firewood during a period of austerity. And they are very good. They cut out 5% of the heat loss from a room having those closed like that. I worry about these gaps here where we can have drafts coming in that possibly not sure where they come from, but I don't like the fact that they come out in the room. And so we'll be recommending sealing those up with a little bit of acrylic sealant. So we check the windows and we'll just have a little go at that. And there it goes up. We can see already that there's draft strip brushes on here between the sash and the call this one the parting bead. And they've also got draft strips on the staff bead this side and they've got them across the bottom here. So when that window shuts down, it's really nice and draft proof. You can see this draft strip that's routed into the mid rail and there'll be something at the top as well. So we really have nothing to worry about with these windows. The latch that closes them is a very clever one. It's a snail shaped cam. And as we close it, it squeezes the window together, which compresses that draft strip and does a very nice job. So we have no real concerns. We've had, a look at, we've had a look at chimneys like this before, and we often find that there's nothing up there. I can put my arm right up and I can feel a considerable draft going up that chimney now. So warm air is being continuously drawn up. I'm not sure whether I can make some dust go, but we would recommend in the winter having a pillow in an old plastic sack shoved up there and then in the summer take it out again. We come into the utility room here. We've got a fan which is taped up so it's not working and it's keeping the room a little bit warm. It's a regulation to have a fan there. I quite like fans that only work when you turn them on. So they've got shutters on them. This one has got no chance of being drafty because it's taped up. We'll look at their back door. We come square on to it. You can see some daylight in here. If I push the door, the daylight disappears. So the latch on that door needs to be adjusted and hopefully that will get rid of the drafts. And I think that's all that door really needs. Um, if we can have a little look at it. We've probably got factory fitted draft strips on this door here, and they'll be doing a nice job of keeping stuff out. There's not much dirt around, so it's 
probably not drafty. And on this door, we have something called a threshold strip. And this is a little piece of rubber vein there, which is touching the rebate under the door and water drips outside it. It's very nice that these often perish, but this one's quite new enough to be doing a good. So apart from just that latch being a little bit slack, we're happy with that door and we'll advise the customer to do it. Sometimes I do it for them if they're elderly or infirm or not capable of doing it. Aluminium double doors here. We've seen these kind of things on other houses a lot. And this has got a single point lock. So normally now locks have double point and shoot bolts and things. This one doesn't have the shoot bolt and I'm afraid it's got a problem because at the top here, the door's not closing right up, letting in a draft. You can see all the black and darkening up here where the draft's coming in. I, the only thing I can think of doing with that is to have a catch up here that holds the door in or either that or taking it away into a factory and fitting a multi-point locking system for it. If we're going to have a look down at the bottom of the door, we can see there's some, there's a gap here, which is between the sill and the trim. And there's also a gap in here underneath the sill. And we think both these two gaps are drafty. And so we'd like to seal those with acrylic sealant. Very nice back door with a draft strip on the bottom. It probably needs refixing at this very end where I'm just showing it moving. There's a tiny bit of daylight visible down in that corner as well. And the door has extra bits of wood on it, which we quite like, which are helping to stop drafts coming in. And it looks to us that the, draft, the door is not drafty at all up the side because it's relatively clean. But at the top here, we've got a lot of dirt. And so we think we're going to put a probably a nylon draft strip across there, clean that up and put that on. And again, down the hinge side, very clean, good indication there's no draft. So we're only going to go for the top of that door and repair the draft strip or refix the draft strip at the bottom. I think we could have a look in this bedroom because there's some unusual problems which we might as well highlight. It's not really the sort of thing that draft busters get involved with but they've had some plaster falling off the wall here and it's probably as a result of possibly damp coming in through the sill but I worry about a little bit of cold coming in through the sill and causing condensation and then causing the plaster to fail and fall off so they've got some problems there. The windows beautifully draft strip we've seen them all before and I, I think that draft busters are happy with all this situation the customer has to do building type repairs really is very interesting that window coming up the stairs to the top floor we're getting a window which is above and beyond the call of draft buses but we can see daylight out through the crack you can see that come across that way that's it lovely and this is a very unusual window it's a center pivot window and this is the center pivot which is a huge screw and the window just simply turns whoops turns out like that and it's running on two screws and across the top, we've got no draft strips. Down the side, we've got no draft strips or door stops. I'm not sure what you can do with that window. It's, there's daylight visible across the top. If you can come down with the camera, you can see that up a bit. See the gap? You can see a gap there. I'd like there to be a door stop on the outside of that window. And yeah, the screw is here. It's a little bit loose, that screw. And so the whole thing is moving. I think we would be recommending new centre pivot hinges on this window, draft stripping all the way around, probably draft strips routed in, and this would be joinery work, and then a door stop from here up and right around the top so that the window is draft, draft free when closed. That would be the aim. Up here, that's again, they've got nice double glazed windows, but we're going to have a look at a loft hatch, and this is their loft hatch, their main loft. And we take that out and have a look and see we've got nice, it's got insulation. It's quite a good idea to put the insulation on a loft trap in a polythene bag like that so it's not spraying fluff everywhere when you do it. This is nice and clean. This rebate here is it's cleanish and we would like to put a draft strip right round this one so that it's not just insulated but draft proof. It's a very simple job. We need to clean this and then stick a draft strip on. We'll come back and do that later. And there's probably not quite enough insulation in that loft, but when it was done, it was probably the amount they want. 
We've been doing this Edwardian house. It's not bad at all for drafts. There's almost no drafts round the windows, under the windows, or through the windows. The door, the front door, the back door, the patio door have all been drafty, and the loft trap, which we could sort of consider as a door. And we've done some work on all of those. And on his back door, we've recommended that he moves the keep that keeps the latch and the lock to tighten the door onto its draft strips. At present, there's a daylight showing and a draft, but all it needs is the keep moving. And he's got very little drafts. There are problems with the first floor void, which I'm sitting on, where they've got air bricks in the front of the house that we looked at initially, and air bricks at the back of the house. So a draft can blow clean through underneath the floor void. There's no need for that floor void to be ventilated, and it would be better off not ventilated because it's cold drafts and those drafts can come out inside the house as well as flow through the floor void. So I'm quite impressed with this older house, Edwardian probably, and um, not as many drafts in this as there are in modern houses. So I think that's good for draft busters for today.